What we're going to look at in this video is how to prepare your 3D model ready for 3D printing. An essential part of that is taking that 3D model into something called slicing software. And what slicing software does is break up your 3D model into very thin, almost 2D slices for your printer to be able to print out and reconstruct your 3D model. In the case of Ultimaker, that slicing software is called Cura. And this is what it looks like on the screen. This is Cura 3.0, which is the very latest version of the software. When you install it for the first time, it will ask you what type of printer you're going to be using. You can see here at the top, it's now specified as an Ultimaker 2 Plus. If you do find at some point that you will be using a different printer, then you can actually change that from that drop down menu. So what we're looking at on the screen here is effectively a virtual representation of an Ultimaker 2 Plus printer. This gridded area in the centre of the screen represents the glass plate that you build your 3D model on top of. And the blue lines here represent the vertical height of the build space that you've got available to build your 3D model within. And now we're ready to load our 3D model we can go to the top left hand corner to this icon where it says open file. It's then going to go looking for a file in a certain format. You should have exported your 3D model out from whatever environment it was designed in, in a file format that Cura can actually understand. Uh, you can see the file formats that are available to you in this drop down list. Uh, but the three most popular ones are .3MF, .obj and .stl. The last one, .stl, is the most commonplace 3D printing file format. And I've got a model here prepared in an STL format. And when I click on open, then after a couple of seconds, it appears on the glass plate or the virtual representation of the glass plate. And we can now start our preparation of that 3D model ready for 3D printing. In the next video we're going to look at how we can manipulate that model and get it into the right orientation and the right scale um, before we go on to make our final print settings ready for printing.